Hello, good afternoon. My name is Jose Manuel Roman from Spain, and this presentation is about uh, mainly level two, because actual situation in our country is linking all the ISP are moving very, very fast to GPON adoption. Actually, almost 90% of my customer are going to adopt GPON and normal architecture are microtic in front of them. Okay. Our company profile is mainly dedicated to data center. We have collocation in Madrid in Intersion. And it's other question for our customer to move from their headquarters to Intersion to the interconnection point. We are deploying fiber optic around Spain. Actually, there is a project of 50,000 houses in the center of Spain. And of course, we give a consultation about microtic. Okay, I'm focused in the new functionality in the bridge. I know that other colleagues explain this functionality, but for me, the most important part in, in this presentation is to demonstrate how to use this functionality in layer two and in normal scenario for ISP provider. Okay, you know that the main change in the 6.41 40, is the hardware of load. Basically, we are moving the decision to use the switch chipset from the network engineer to the routers. Be careful because we are using, we are speaking those days about those functionalities, but the only family of models that support all the functionality is the CRS3XX series. I, I want to, to thank to Microtic staff because they borrow me the model in this position to test all the functionality in this presentation. In this slide, we can see the previous interface with those tabs that everyone knows and the new interface. We have a lot of new functionality and a new organization of this functionality. We were focused in this presentation in the VLAN and in the filter bridge. Okay, this is the old way, the old configuration that everyone here is supposed to know with the master port. When we have the switch chipset, we activate the master port and we are using the hardware. With the new functionality, we change this setup. And in this case, we have new tabs. In this case, imports, we have in the general tab, we have the tick to change, hardware offload. And with this tick, we are setting the new functionality. Okay, let's go to move to normal scenarios for this kind of setting. The first, the first one, I think is really, really usual scenario, is the trunk and the access port. 
in this case, we have an interface. Ether1, in this case, is the tram pork. And we have untag VLAN, VLAN 2, 3, and 4. OK, first step is to put some names, some identification. And after that, we set up very different setup. In this case, we first set up the Ether one trunk. And you can, you can see in the picture, in the slide, how to manage every VLAN. We need to go to the VLAN tab. And in this VLAN tab, we set up the port VLAN ID. OK. Until here is easier. And now we go to the more similar, <coughs> sorry, more similar setup that other brand. Because now we have other tab in the bridge to put and tag and tag VLAN. In this case, tag VLAN is Ether1, and the rest of Ether are and tag. Very important. You need activate VLAN filtering. For this reason, you need the switch 3 X, X series. OK. Next scenario. In this case, in this scenario, we see inter VLAN. We have three different VLAN, and those VLAN are IP address. And we go on to communicate the different VLANs. OK, first step is last. the previous one. We assign an poor identification, in this case, two, three, and four. But the main change here, if you observe the slide, we have the bridge target. Be careful with this detail. And, of course, we need to go to the interface and create the VLANs. Inside the bridge. These setups permit to move the packets between VLANs. Without this setup, the packet don't cross the bridge between VLAN. And finally, we activate the VLAN filtering. Case 4. In this case, we mix the untag and the tag VLAN. It's very usual scenario. In this scenario, we have a voice over IP, phone, and we have also normal user with laptop or PCs. In this case, we have the same ID for Ether 2, 3, and 4. You can see in the slide. But here is the main change between the previous scenarios, scenario and this one. You can see that in the, on the right, in TAG, there is Ether1 and also is the bridge. OK? This setup permit to cross 
de Antag Antag de Bridge. And finally, we activate the VLAN filtering. Other normal scenario when we are working in layer two is when we need to prioritize this kind of a scenario of voice over IP that we are managing with VLAN in the data center. In Spain, I told you, it's normal go to to Madrid, and normally we are putting the OLT in the collocation, and we are sending VLAN to our quarters and to our POP. In this case, the bridge permits us with the filter to mark the prioritization. We can make the matching with the VLAN ID and put different number for, for example, in this case, for voice over IP VLAN. We can use also for management VLAN, for IPTV, and so on. This is a presentation that uh, was in the 2012 in Dubai. And I like it very much because when we were thinking about security, we are thinking about other kind of stuff, but for me are very important, and I think for the majority of ISP, is very important the availability. Okay. With the bridge and using the filter, we can make this kind of setup. In this case, we are watching like balance between PPPoE server. We have three PPPoE server, and we can mark. We have three PPPoE server, and we can mark in the filter This kind of traffic, this kind of traffic link it with PPPoE. In this case, in this sample that I told you I'm using another presentation for Dubai, from Dubai presentation of MAN, they are using just to control the BGP, but it's trivial because normal, normally we use some kind of code in Python to manage this kind of balance. But it's explained here how to change in the local preference between peers. You can activate the most important part of the configuration is this part. We are activating the rules for cut the PPPoE establishing. You can see there the rules. It's very important because if we are working with the bridge filter, we have several matching, not only PPPoE, we can match also with VLAN, we, we can match with MAC addresses, we can match with kind of protocols. For example, in the slide, in the first scenario that I, I go very fast, is the IPv6 identification, and does permit us really good control of 
लायर तू Conclusions about the the use of breaching of layer two breaching is very important for us to have control of layer two because actually we are every one of us is moving from wireless service provider to fiber optic provider and in this case we need to have the control of layer two. Thank you very much. <laughs>